Hello students. From today, I am going to start the lecture series of machine design. So, in this first lecture of machine design, I will give you a basic introduction of machine design. What is machine design actually and the types of machine design. Now, let us start with the introduction of machine design. What is machine design? And the machine design is also called the design of machine elements or the, the name itself says the machine design is the designing of machine or designing of machine elements. See you can easily you can see here the machine design is the combination of two words two different words machine and design. If you know the meaning of machine and if you know the meaning of design, you can easily understand the meaning of machine design. So here, first I will tell you what is machine and second I, I will tell you what is design. And if we combine the meaning of these two words, we can easily understand the meaning of machine design. So what is machine? First I will tell you what is machine. Machine is basically the combination of uh, different links, elements, mechanism which are used to transfer some form of energy to the mechanical energy or it receives some mechanical energy power from other sources and it transmit and it also modify it for performing particular task or to fulfill the objective. Now the design, what is design? So design is basically the creation and construction of things by proper planning, construction and analysis. And design also consists the improvement part also. So if we combine the meaning of these two words machine and design, we can understand the meaning of machine design. So here we can say the machine design is the creation and construction of new machines, elements or the system of mechanical nature and also the improvement and analysis of existing machine. Here we can say the machine design is a subject which deal with the creation of mechanical elements with the use of technical information, scientific principles previous design techniques and analysis to perform some specific function or specific or specific task with maximum efficiency and it should be cost friendly also and it also consists the improvement of existing machine for better economy and the capabilities so these machines or machine elements can be uh, the fastening devices like different type of nuts, bolts, screws, brackets, different type of joints like welded joints, riveted joints etc. And these fastening devices are basically used for joining two parts and, the, uh, and uh, with the help of machine design we can manufacture these element or these machine element as per the requirement uh, like uh, what is the size shape the load bearing capacity etc and the some other machines or the machine elements can be belts conveyors gears gear drives chains different type of bearings gaskets springs shaft keys couplings and so on and the construction of these machine elements depending on the requirement what is the requirement actually size shape capacity and the output of the machine and so on factors or basically we can say the design uh, uh, it designed to satisfy the need of the customer next topic is the types of machine design there are only uh, there are three types of machine designs uh, First type is adaptive design, second is the development design and third is the new design. So I will discuss here first what is adaptive design. Adaptive design is uh, basically based on 
existing design of the machine or existing design of the machine element uh, there are only minor changes or minor modification done by the designer for new applications uh, the common example of this adaptive designs are uh, the watches and clocks and one more example of this adaptive design is the automobile engines uh, companies are doing minor changes in automobile uh, engine uh, as per the size as per the uh, uh, style of the uh, car or to obtain a uh, high speed uh, for this for the automobile companies are doing uh, minor changes in the design second type of design is the development design so uh, here we can say with the help of technical abilities and the scientific approaches if uh, the designer is doing modification in existing design with different processes and different material so that type of design is the development design and here existing design is used as the reference only development design is basically uh, the changes changes are not minor there are uh, if the designer is uh, taking existing design as the reference and there are major changes in the existing design with the help of technical abilities and scientific approaches so this type of design is the development design the common example of this development design are the electronic devices like television and cell phones etc if we compare today's television from uh, the uh, 90s television uh, the televisions of 90s so you can easily compare those television from the uh, current television so current televisions we can say is the example of the development design similarly we can compare the cell phones uh, today's cell phone the current cell phones from the previous cell phones so these cell phones are the uh, example of the development design third type of design is the new design uh, here new design uh, when if the designer is designing something new if the designer is creating something new with lot of research and uh, with lot of creativity and the technical approaches and the ability but it is based on existing scientific approach so this will consider in new design the very common example of this new design is the solar systems uh, generally most of the uh, uh, we are running uh, so many things on solar power so this solar system or solar power is replacing uh, some other power systems so this is the uh, example we can take uh, this as the example of new design we can also classify the machine design on the basis of method so based on method these are some other type of machine design uh, on the basis of methods or based on method the types of machine designs are first type of design is rational design second is empirical design third is industrial design fourth is elemental design fifth is system design and sixth is computer aided design so let's start with the rational design rational design is basically uh, depends on uh, or it is based on mechanics like uh, determination of forces determination of stress strain etc are using for calculating the dimension of elements second type is the empirical design uh, empirical design is uh, depends on empirical formulas which is based on past experiences third type of design is the industrial design uh, industrial design is basically based on industrial facilities and aspects like uh, production market research cost technical approaches standard design different type of materials etc fourth type of design is the elemental design uh, elemental design is generally representing the design of 
the uh, individual mechanical or the machine elements like uh, uh, designing of gears gear box fly wheels etc fifth type of design is the system design system design is generally representing the designing of whole or complete mechanical system they uh, for example we can say the designing of automobiles or designing of vehicles is considered in system design sixth type of design is the computer aided design so uh, for the construction modification uh, implementation analysis uh, if these uh, steps are performing with the help of computer system so these type of design are considered as computer aided design and the example of this computer aided design is the cnc so these are the types of machine design thanks for watching the video and subscribe the channel for more lectures